I'm watching way too much charmed. Hey people of the world wide web, it's me, Cat. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just wearing a tube top. Yeah. <laughs> So autumn is here and I am excited like oh if I were to pick one favorite season autumn without a doubt I mean it's not too hot it's not too cold I can wear a skirt with some stockings and some cute boots oh vibes and the colors of the leaves on the trees so pretty I'm already thinking of ideas for Instagram it's gonna be so nice so with the new season brings in new trends and that's where your girl that is me is here to share but before we get started if you're new here hi hello how are you my name is Kat Sakho, but everyone calls me cat and since you clicked i'm assuming you're interested so i'm gonna let you suss out the vibes first of the channel but if you like the vibes subscribe but if it's your third time here you know what to do all right let's get into it here are my top five trends for autumn 2021 Number one, monochrome outfits. I love this and I just think throughout the video I'm gonna be saying that a lot. This is honestly an easy way to look stylish for any situation, whether you're going to work, you're gonna run errands, or you're chilling with friends at home, it works. The first time I noticed this was with all white parties. They always do all white or people just wear all black in general. But the thing that is nice about monochrome looks is that you can do it with any color. The time where I specifically started to pay attention to it was when Zendaya did it in one of the fashion weeks. Her and Law are just like the perfect fashion duo and they make sense. Another example is if you watch the show Dynasty, Fallon, one of the main characters, she does this super well and like that's like her one go-to look especially when you know her as a character she's very out there and bold and it reflects perfectly with the colors that she uses like felons about either you go big or you go home coming from any part of her life and the monochrome reflects that perfectly tips on how to style it you don't have to wear head to toe one color to make it easier just keep the clothes within the color of the monochrome look but then your accessories like your shoes a hat a bag you can do it within a different color a suggestion for the accessories depending on what color you decide to wear but this usually works with any color use any neutral colors so black white gray beige browns don't forget your silhouette so basically like the style rules like if you have a fit to top you can have a looser bottom or if you have a looser bottom you can have a fit to top you can do loose on the top loose on the bottom and fit it on the top and fit it on the bottom but if you decide to do loose on the top and loose on the bottom i suggest having something within your waist to help create your body shape well to accentuate your body shape like a belt for example that way you don't look like you're drowning within one color use different fabric textures within that color so if you mix wool with silk or linen with wool within the same color it adds a little personal touch and shows a bit of dimension number two beige whites and browns with most winter autumn colors they usually go darker they still do but this time i'm actually seeing a bit of a difference this year in a way it's kind of like brands are just setting out good vibes with the lighter colors and a bit more positivity and just happiness out there especially with the things that happened in 2020 i mean ooh. you see it in accessories jerseys matching sets what's great about these colors is that they look good in almost every material and they're super easy to style like they go with anything my personal favorite is like seeing a white jersey with a brown jacket and some jeans and brown boots and just for a pop of color just use it on the bag i mean it's cool stylish and honestly i would wear it again next year number three leather being honest with you i don't even think leather has left because of how timeless it is sorry bring it back to the 2000s for a bit the goal of this is to basically look like you came out of the movie the matrix 
like head to toe leather and just and that thing that Keanu Reeves does for that lady I don't know I forgot her name hi this is me here cat editing and for the first time in my life I just watched the matrix last week don't come at me the lady's name is Trinity yeah that's all Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid did this so well like specifically Bella Hadid like she'll wear the long leather coat with the leather pants and nice boots and a black top in with the small sunglasses and like her hair doing like a slick bun or ponytail personally my goal is to find a bomb leather coat like a long one like probably even touching the ground that's either black or brown if I can get that Ooh. If you're unsure on how to do this whole matrix look, do one thing at a time. Pick one piece of leather, so either a leather pants or a leather jacket. If you decide to do leather pants, treat it as if you're wearing jeans, but with a bit more edge to it. Number four, sweater vests. So with this, it'll be easier to wear now considering like it's only autumn and it's not too hot and it's not too cold. This is somewhat like an academia inspired look. I've seen it paired on its own, paired with a white button down, uh, another button down that's long enough to be a dress with the sweater vest on top. It actually looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm that cool to even do it. No, let me not say that actually. Like, let me try it on first before I make that decision. And what's actually great about it, I don't even have to spend money for it because my dad has so many and I don't even think he wears them all. I know he has a brown one. Number five, boots. More specifically, like the Wellington gum boots with like a track sole on them. The boots itself like have a similar texture to gum boots, but the sole of the boot, like the bottom of the shoe is a bit more thicker. I've seen them in black, I've seen them in white, and honestly, they would go so well with either one of the trends that I mentioned before. Like, it'll give it an almost like an edgy and a little punky kind of look. And honestly, it's the vibes that I'm here for. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now that the vibes of my channel have been sussed and you're still here, why not subscribe? And while you're down there, click the bell next to it so you get notified on every time I post, which is every Friday. Comment down below what autumn trends do you like and also what you look forward to doing this autumn. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine. <laughs> and I have a new blog post that is out. If you want to check it out, the link will be down below. If you guys have heard of the Goddess Cafe or want to know more about it, check it out okay one more thing before i end the video if you want to try these trends or even thinking about it don't go with the intention of that you're going to impress other people do it because you want to do it fashion is a form of self-expression and it has honestly helped me a lot with my confidence and the way how i see myself the point is with fashion it made me feel good so if you like it doesn't matter what anyone else says if you feel good nothing else should matter and yeah that's it that is the end of my video i will see you when i see you